Vem me dar um vapo, vapo Me leva pro teu barraco Raco, raco, raco Hi guys, it's Iris. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back if you're a returning watcher. Today, I have a special guest. And it is the one and only... <laughs> <laughs> Introduce <smart>. yourself! <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that I had to deal with a crazy sugar daddy. And Bella was there to... <laughs> Bella was there to witness it. What? The fun there. <laughs> Oh, she was there, but not of knowledge. She was there, but not to his knowledge, okay? But you guys will figure that out once we get started. As, al as always, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and get comfortable for the story. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> Dang, that has some bass into it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I set up for the story and I don't even have any like screenshots or anything ready. But to be fair, I did delete the messages with him. I wish I did not, but I do have that one picture of me holding the money that he gave me. Don't you have a video of me in the car? Yes, all of that will be inserted on the screen as we tell the story. What do you think? It was in the summer last summer, no? It was last summer. Last it wasn't in the summer, it was in October per screenshot proof. Summer. I think in July. Let me just like tell y'all how I met this person. So one day, I'm out at the car wash, and I pull up into the stall as one does, and I start, like, vacuuming out my car, I'm taking out the trash, and then he's, like, in a, in a car next to me, and I remember I had, like, long nails at the time, and I, like, grabbed something or hit something with my nail, and I was looking at my nail, and I was like, ow, and then I looked at it, and then, like, I guess he was watching me, and he, and he was like, um, uh, don't break a nail, and I was just like, <laughs> sorry. I just kind of liked it. Put the brick in there. Sorry. He doesn't have an accent. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Bro, Bella, Bella has this idea in her mind. She's been saying Nigerian prince forever. And she keeps like thinking like it's he has an accent or something. No, he was literally just a tall black man. And he did not have an accent. So he's like... Don't break a nail, and I laugh it off. <laughs> I laugh it off, and then um, he just like starts a conversation with me. I again, I can't really remember everything that happened in this moment because this was last summer. But like just briefly, he like you know says that to me, and then um, he's just telling me. I don't even know how he goes from like talking about my nails to like telling me that he. Let me be your sugar daddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> telling me that he owns all these businesses and like he has all these cars and stuff, and he was driving like a white Benz that day and he was telling me he had the other cars and the day that we saw him he was in a different car he was in the corvette when we saw him right yeah yeah it was a nice car i go a lot of it was really nice i'm gonna give it to i'm gonna give it to him yeah he just starts telling me that he can offer me a job and all this stuff like and whatever so i just take his number down one because it was an uncomfortable situation two because i was just like you never know you know so then that's whatever i leave boom then Automatically, he gets to text me about like when he can take me out and all that, and I'm just like, I'm when less you. Can I take you out? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, I can't. I don't even remember. Like, I really wish I could go back to the messages. Like, if I can find whatever I can find, I will. But like, um, he was just telling me like, can I take you out and all that, and I was just telling him from the jump like, look, you give me my sugar daddy, but I'm not gonna give you any sugar, like. <laughs> <laughs> No like I'm all for the sugar daddies. I'm all for it. But once it's once you're giving up the sugar, that is not a sugar daddy, baby. That is prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, don't clip that. Don't clip that. <laughs> so, he was just like, oh, I respect that. Like I'm just looking for someone to talk to and stuff like that. I'm like, whatever. You know how they are. And then <laughs> uh, how, how are they? Because I do not know how they are. <laughs> oh my god. He, like, keeps trying to meet up with me, and I'm really uncomfortable with it. Because, first of all, I don't even like meeting up with guys that I know that I want to, like, you know, pursue. Let alone a random old man that's, like, old enough to be my grandpa. <laughs> Nigerian prince, as they might say. <laughs> so, like, I don't even know how I arranged it. But, like, one day, I was just like, okay. I told him, I'll meet up with you at um this, like, this place or whatever. It was a QT, I think. Yeah, it was a gas station. And, um, he was like, oh, I'm going to give you some money so you can take care of blah, 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 whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I was so scared to go by myself. So I told Bella, like, no, she didn't tell me. She just said, 
So at the time, me and Iris weren't as like <laughs> besties as we are now. We were like really good friends, but we we're like different dynamic. We don't, yeah, it was a different dynamic. We didn't hang out as much as we do now. So you know, me being you know the person I am, she goes, "Hey, you want to hang out today?" I was like, "Yeah, like of course I want to hang out today." She's like, "Okay, I just need you to run some errands with me." We get to her house and she goes, "Hey, so like if you don't mind, like can you come with me to go like meet the sugar daddy?" And I was like. Okay, thinking I'll just be in the like front seat. I won't say anything. Like I'll let her do her thing. I was so wrong. <laughs> the complete opposite of what the she did. The complete opposite of what I thought. I thought her sugar daddy was gonna be white for one. <laughs> <laughs> just he wasn't Nigerian though. <laughs> no black man with his pegs all out. With the, oh my god! Floral floor button up. Out like that in his heavy chains, <laughs> hopping on a Corvette. Like you did not tell me that wasn't scripted. <laughs> that was like I thought I was in the movie. You were in What Would You Do? <laughs> <laughs> gold digger, how to catch a gold digger? <laughs> oh, I told Bella like we're, oh, we need sorry. to go do this. We need, he's gonna give me three hundred dollars. We need to go do this. So he kept telling me that he wanted to meet up at this at the place. So I'm like, okay. I tell him that I'm about to get there. And so we pull up, me and Bella, like, we tell him, I tell him that I'm going to meet him at the, the gas station. But we go to the hotel right next to the gas station so I can go around and let Bella get in the trunk. I tell Bella to get in the trunk so that, like, he doesn't see her in my car. So, because I didn't tell him I was bringing anybody and I didn't want him to be weird about it. So I, I, but I was, like, super scared of someone not being there. So I told her to get in the trunk. So she gets in the <laughs> she trunk. Said, she, said, she goes, Okay, you can like the trunk, like you can't be up here. I'm like the <laughs> trunk. What do you mean the trunk? I was like, okay, cool. I thought she had a spacious back, like a trunk. It was spacious. It's a cute it portage. When y'all see that video, it was not spacious. <laughs> I'm your backup. <laughs> Are you scared? Yes, I'm so scared. I don't know. What if something does happen? Like I really have no access to get out. <laughs> I'm just knowing that. Under that hot blanket she made me put oh, yeah, over I put a me. blanket over her, and mind you, it was the summertime too. Also, before we left her house, I made her grab a knife. In case, I went and grabbed one of my stuff hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> I went and I grabbed one of my grandma's steak knives, and I put it in the back and I gave it to, to Bella. And I, honestly, I did not give my grandma back that knife for like a month or so because I forgot it was in my car. But when my mom found it, she was like. Why do you have a knife in the what? trunk? Like, why is this? Why is this not in the kitchen? <laughs> we put Bella back there, and then we pull over to the gas station, and then I'm like at a, a pump in front of the store, and then he pulls it in a pump that's like on the other side of me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like he's in front of me. So he starts calling me, and then he and Bella's in the trunk, and I'm just like, you know, talking to Bella from, you know, between the space and the car. And <laughs> I was like, Iris, are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Bella, are you good? No, and she was I'm freaking out, to, actually. She was freaking out. I was freaking out. Because all I, I remember, I couldn't see her, but all I heard was, oh my god, oh my god, Bella, oh my god, oh my god, he pulled up in a nice Corvette. <laughs> oh. Then he was, like, in front of me, so, like, if he was, he was facing the other way, but if he looks in his mirror, rear view mirror, he's going to be able to see me. So I didn't want him to see me talking and be like, who is she talking to? So, like, I, I was trying to, like, duck lower so I could talk to Bella without him being able to see. Like, it was just, like, a lot going on. He calls me and he's, like, telling me to come over to his car. And then I'm just like, what you mean by that? I have Sorry. someone in my <laughs> trunk. I have someone in my trunk. So going to work? Yeah, no, when he said that. My, my heart she, dropped. My my heart dropped because I'm in the back trunk. Like if you leave, you die. I'm stuck back there. There was she no thought getting I was out. gonna go. He's over here saying, "Yeah, just come to my car. Leave your car here, and what's we can ride to the bank together." I'm thinking he's pulling up with the money. He didn't tell me until then that he didn't have the cash on him. He says, "I need to run around to Chase real quick." Like, why didn't you stop before? I'm sorry. Like, I'm like I'm, I don't mean to sound snappy because not everybody just has three hundred dollars handed to them at one point. I know your place, sugar baby. But why couldn't why couldn't <laughs> you stop and get the money before you came to meet me? He wanted some sugar before you got yours. Yeah, I think he was, that's, I, I honestly low-key think that's what he was trying to do, but he didn't, like, touch me or do anything, but, like, I feel like that's kind of what he was aiming for, but, like, I always stand on business, like, like, I saw, <laughs> that sounds so yeah, weird. She stands on business with sugar daddies. That sounds so cringy to say, but, like, I stand on business in general, so, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be, like, you know, 
but yeah so bella's in the back like are you gonna go are you gonna go and i'm like no and she, like, i'm telling him the window <laughs> i go is the coast clear are you gonna go please don't go please don't go and i'm like no bella so i tell him i'll follow you around there because i don't really feel comfortable leaving my car here like i made an excuse about it getting no, she ate that one up Michael yeah i was like i don't really feel comfortable leaving it here because like i don't want it to get towed i want one of the workers to say something oh my gosh you know whatever she so, ate that though we drove around like not even like six minutes away to the bank and we go in there and well we pull up and he pulls up like closest to the bank and i think he got out well, first he gets out. He, he, comes. he got out, right, and he was walking towards the trunk. Oh, because I was still in the trunk. I was. In t- she made me stay the whole time in her freaking trunk, the whole way. <laughs> I don't know if I can cuss or not. The whole way, uh, to to chase, and I remember I was in the back. It was hot as balls. Like, it was it hotter. Was... It was hotter than hail. Okay, it was hot. And hail. <laughs> hail. It tell was, me, it tell was me you're from Texas. Hail. <laughs> tell me you're from Texas without telling me you're from Texas. Hail. It was hotter than Satan's blue sheet. Boy, it was hot <laughs> as hell out there. It was hot as hell. And I remember the whole time <laughs> you were gripping the wheel. I peeped that she was gripping the wheel. She said, like, oh my gosh. Oh I my gosh. But like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my gosh. She doesn't even have the money. But Sugar Daddy doesn't even have the money. More and more, like, if I have to, now I have to go to the bank, now I have to interact with him at the bank. <laughs> like, in front of people, I was like, damn, they're going to. Oh my gosh. I was like, some guys gonna- drove by. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Some guys drove by, and I would have been like, on any other day, I'd be like, oh, they're cute. Like, if they could have approached me at the mall, then I would have been like, okay, maybe slide you my Instagram. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> they right? They, they saw me it's give so this guy a judgment. side hug. They saw me give this guy a side hug, and they just looked at me with, like, so much disgust. And they looked like they were my age. <laughs> they saw me get out of his Corvette. They probably thought, like, I, I gave him something for that money. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got out with the water cash. <laughs> And they saw me pull up in my car. When he was walking back to the car, he went through, the, like, the back, like, the trunk again. And Iris goes, Tuck down, he can't see you! <laughs> I, I had, like, her clothing, like, her clothes, like, they were clean, but they were in the back. I had them over my face, and then I had the blanket that barely covered my body. And with the knife like this in the back seat. Oh my gosh, she's, like, been gripping it. <laughs> I was gripping it. <laughs> can someone hand me that cookie down in the seat? Thank you. Can I have a bite? It's one left, but we can split it. Ew! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> can you get my uncrustable off of the island since she wants to eat my cookie dough? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, future Iris, can you take that where I look like a big back? <laughs> Come a bite of that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay. Who are we? Code um, name. Honestly, what was like pineapple Safeway. or something? Pineapple, pineapple, not peach. Pineapple. I think that's what I thought it was, but I didn't want to sound dumb. <laughs> yeah. So we had a safe word, pineapple. I can't tell you why. I don't think none of us remember why. No. But it was. Pine- I told Bella like I'm just gonna reach out and grab it, and like we're just gonna hurry up and leave. Well, he's like, come over to my car, come talk to me for a second. He was like, trying to reserve. He was like, trying to be all friendly. Man. Come, come, sit and chat with me for a second. Come, come to my car and I'll give you, you the come to my Come to my car and come sit and talk to me. Like, why would I want to give you some all this money if I don't even know you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm okay, whatever. My favorite color is purple. Valid. Give me the money. Like, what? I sit and talk to him and he's just like, how do I know that you're going to like not take the money and just like block me and... Mm, bro was pred- <laughs> predicting, predicting the future. He was foreshadowing the story, but... How do I know you're not just going to take my money and block me? Like... Uh, I don't just give money to people I don't know. And, like, you know, I am a talker. I'm a people person. I don't gonna lie. When we were back at the gas station, I, she was so nervous. But, like, when he was asking her to go in the car and stuff like that, the excuses she made up, she made that up on the fly. I'm good did at Did not like hesitate. That. Did not stutter. Did not seem nervous. Like, she ate that up. Because me, personally, I would have been pooping bricks. Mm-hmm. Um, He tried to, like, give me a kiss before I got out of the car. And I was like... I don't kiss random people. Like, that's my biggest, like, that's, like, honestly, I don't kiss random people. But, like, that's, like, my biggest, like. I would hope. I would hope. You wouldn't kiss Okay. Yeah. Um, but when she was, like, getting her keys and stuff, I remember being, like, 
uh, why are you trying to hold my foot? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I was like sweating. I was like having anxiety and sweating. Like, oh, poor Bella. It was so bad because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what if I'm a witness to the kidnapping? Like, I'm or in like, the trunk. Like, yeah, <laughs> you too would do it for a check. <laughs> what but, would you do? But I go, she makes me like a dog. <laughs> climb through like the trunk all the way to the front like the two obstacles like it was a lot and so i'm getting up there and she's over here freaking out talking about some hold my hand i'm scared yes i was so scared because i was just so scared that he was gonna like see bella and like just like get mad at me like because you know like if you make a man mad you never know what they can do <laughs> so i was just like i don't want him to see us and i i don't want him to follow me back home because i lived like not even far not even 10 minutes from that bank. yeah so I, I just was really scared about something happening so we just hurried up and but we were like really paranoid and bro we did all that just to stay there like another 15 minutes or like 10 15 minutes to like deposit the money in my account but when we were depositing the money when we were driving around i think we kept we kept like i said he was driving a corvette we kept hearing like we loud kept hearing cars. like the loud corvette thing and we're like oh my gosh he was her seat wasn't going down so, cause oh, your thing you was back? yeah, for me to go back, it was not working. So we heard his Corvette, and we're panicking. So I'm like, this. and we're sitting in the line to like chase, like the ATM. Someone line. was behind yeah. us, and someone was in front of us. So like, there's no getting out. Yeah, there and, was and we had already talked about should we leave? Should we leave before someone got behind me? But then someone got behind me, and I'm like, okay, I'm stuck here. Like they send a little paper through through the thing so I can write, and I'm over here shaking. Like <laughs> I was just like, okay, get this, so, done, get this done. They were like, give me my ID. ID. My ID. Uh, all of a sudden, I, I don't know if my ID or is my social security card or my Starbucks gift card. I don't know. Like I was over here. What do you mean by Starbucks? Oh, what do you I mean? mean? <laughs> <laughs> I one time I was coming across, um, like down the street, and he exited in front of me. And y'all are probably like, "How do you know this is not just another blue Corvette, bro?" He had his name. So it was like. It was like um, big Nigerian poppy on his license plate. That's how you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> My hair was blonde at, back at that time, right? Yeah, it was before you changed it. Okay, yeah. So I don't know if he would even recognize me anymore, but um, yeah, like I knew it was him because on the back of his car it has his name. It's like a big daddy. Um, <laughs> it, it's a little metal emblem and everything so i knew it was him i don't know i honestly i've only seen him like that time and then that one time at walmart since walmart and... wait did that ever go in no you never talked about that oh okay he showed up to that walmart i was working at one day or one night and he was in like a full track suit let me just touch on that he was in a maroon like, track like suit. Like a Nigerian prince, as he freaking should. <laughs> he that was, sugar daddy was flexing on y'all. Do you have a chain on? He had, and like he had that a zipper full, open a little bit? He yeah. had like a full like essentials track suit on. <laughs> it was giving cartel. Like, I'm like, bro, well, you're pulling up to the Walmart like that? But anyways, so yeah. So he had a buggy and everything and had stuff. So I don't think he like was, was looking for was me. Like, so I see him and then he like tries to like, like wave me over and I'm just like, I just like book it and I told my manager like I walked off and I told her later like why I walked off but like yeah Did you actually tell her yeah you told her like the actual story like, well I didn't tell her the full story but I just said that guy like I've he tried to talk to me I didn't tell her the sugar daddy story I just told her he tried to talk to me at a car wash one time and now he's trying to talk to me again so I just like ran off I didn't tell her because like you know I'm not gonna tell this like random 40 year old woman that I took $300 from this guy and now he's looking for me yeah like in the car like him trying to like make the move at me after I told him I didn't even want to kiss him like still telling me like oh I'm not giving you money for no reason I straight up told him like oh I don't I respect you too like you don't have to but then he was like, oh like I want to help you out blah, blah blah so he gave me the money I didn't have to convince him like when Bella said something about it the other day I was just like oh my gosh I forgot about that Cause she posted in her story, she's like, oh my god, she wanted to know her story time video. And yeah. I was like, you should tell the story about this. <laughs> that but, story, like, fell in the back of my mind because it was so traumatic. It was traumatic, but it was definitely, like, a core memory. Like, it was definitely, definitely so funny that, like, it was just one of those things where, like, we explained it to people, but it's like, you just had to be you there. You just had to be there to know. And, like, we were supposed to do this on the beach. Oh, my gosh. So we had this whole plan. This is a side note, but we had a whole plan to do this on the beach, like the story time. Yeah, like like um, Drake and Naughty style, Tana and Burke style. Yeah. No, Rockport said, um, forget y'all, because mm -hmm. tell me why when we get 
So the whole time, Hurricane Alberto was out here on the prowl. Hurricane Alberto, was, he was outside. He was outside. Not, so, so he did his thing. We couldn't be. But. Oh, so we were driving and um we didn't hit any rain or nothing like that yeah, like it was like drive. spotty rain like well it literally rained for two seconds in the stop and just to give you a little backstory like a week leading up to this trip um our multiple it's five of us on this ship almost all of our parents have said something to us about the weather telling us you know like, you know it's to gonna go. be a hurricane you shouldn't go like maybe you should rethink this and we're just like no like like y'all said a hurricane uh, rain didn't stop nobody like what no all of us for the majority of it were like oh like it's fine like we will be fine we we're looking at the forecast like the hurricane wasn't gonna hit where we were at like you know and they were like well flooding this is and that we're like now nah, we'll be fine so we were like we'll decide for sure like the day of the trip that morning so this was the beach the house was like, literally like a street over like it was that close yeah, I honestly and, didn't even know that it was gonna be as close as it was. It was super close, and it was a it was a pretty house and everything. And um, I think for the most part, like we knew we were going on the beach, but like it was the fact that we didn't think we could get a refund, and we spent all that money yeah. for a vacation that the, for me, for our friend Haley, and for her, like it was our only vacation that we were gonna have that wasn't like it was, yeah, it was one of the only things we we're gonna get to do together this summer that we weren't gonna have to be in our home city for and all of that so yeah we were just kind of like we've been talking about this since the san antonio trip so it will just be kind of sucks to like cancel it and say like we're going back home you know we drove like six hours to get here because we were waiting for the um the lady to yeah, text us we were for a, she told us not to come but you know us, yeah. we don't listen for nothing <laughs> she's like i just don't think y'all should come i think y'all should because it was sunny outside and we're and like, nah. We're like, like, girl, what's she talking about? She just probably don't want us to come. They're probably just lazy. They don't want to have to clean the Airbnb for us. Like, we're just like talking all this mess. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we pull up, and it's like, if you were sitting on the toilet, like, you might as well just be like, you were on, swimming. Yeah. You were floating. That was your floating, the toilet. Yeah. I don't know. But basically, we made a whole beach prep video just to end up in Houston, Texas. Oh, um, we're driving <laughs> up to the house. Not even to the house, to the street. I see three cars stop. I'm like, oh no, I don't know. We're cooked. We're cooked. When I saw we a car looping up. back around, yeah, nah. I knew we were cooked. A after the first, the car in front of me looped around. I go up. Our whole street, just our street, was literally like this is the ground. This was how much water it was. It's like, like you could literally take a canoe through it. Yeah, like you were swimming in there. Like it was at least like four feet, like five feet. Like I, it was I swear, deep. Like no, no, no dramatic. We yeah. took videos and stuff. I'll probably insert it, but like. Um, we pulled up and there was a little road sign that said road closed due to through traffic. Babes, that and was no, not and through traffic. Like, literally, you just hear the silence in the car. Like, the music was turned down. Like, everybody was just so, like, we drove eight hours. And I wouldn't, I was in denial. I was like, is this our, is this the street that our Airbnb's on? Yeah, <laughs> like, I was, maybe there's another street. No. Nah, we were cooked. And then Cassie goes, that's the Airbnb right there. And it was, like, flooded. Like, we wouldn't be able to get through the door. Like, it was so bad. It was and so like, devastating. It, it was devastating. So, we literally went to Dairy Queen, and <laughs> we were eating, because I haven't ate all day, and, like, it was my fault. That was me. But, I felt so defeated, but honestly, we did think that. We no, woke up at 4.30 in the morning. We thought we were going to hit the road, get there, and, like, things. We honestly didn't. We knew. We things, were being very optimistic. Yeah, we knew things could have been, like, bad, but we, we just had the best hope for it, and then it just ended up not working out, but, but then everything ended up turning out. Yeah, soon. it worked out fine. Like, yeah. Me and Bella are here filming in this really big bed and we're just really blessed to be here it's bombing that we didn't get to go to the beach because like i told no you guys one didn't, no one didn't go never been on the beach yeah before. and like i told you guys in my shein video the recent video most of the stuff i bought for that video was supposed to be stuff for my houston trip that i didn't get to go on so now i'm in houston with all my rock fits when i could have been here with my houston fits trust me we still have bot fix bot fits we still coming have bot fits yeah, uh, and shout out to Haley because she's the one that put for this trip in San Antonio. The she, last, the other video, she's the one that did all the handling the Airbnb. Yeah, she stuff. handled the Airbnb. She paid from basically. Yeah, so shout out to our trip mom. Yeah, trip mom, shout out. Yeah, and shout out to Noah for being a positive influence on this trip. 
Because, like, we be laughing at him because we, me and Bella, like, we're just so used to being haters that, like, when you <laughs> we, <laughs> we literally, we're stuff. not, we're not bullies and we're not we mean. We just each other or, like, kind of, like, just we just laugh. Like, like, we just laugh. And it's not because we're laughing at the person. We're laughing at the, f- yeah, we just laugh because we just think everything's funny and we think the world is just, like, yeah, just funny. Yeah, not being a hater, then we just think it's That funny. lady that, she- you guys got a story time from a uh, classic Bella and Iris story time, and y'all got a bonus. For bonus. Vinny and Polly. And you got a bonus little chit chat from us about how um our trip has gone because it'll just give y'all a little bit of understanding about why the videos are coming out like they are. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and like, comment, and what else? Hold on. Subscribe. 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 Or I'm gonna find you and 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 what am I gonna do? I'm gonna <laughs> what? I'm gonna blow up your house if you don't want to subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, that's all, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.